Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laurence and I make art videos once a week or at least I try to. So if you've watched last week's video, I recapped my journey into Northern Quebec, which was amazing and it inspired me so much and now I have a lot of ideas of things I want to do next and I think that's going to be next week's video because I have a little bit of a time crunch. My schedule is a bit hectic this month, so I'm hoping I won't miss another week or two, but I can't guarantee, I don't know if I'll have time to film and edit. We'll see, okay? So if I miss another week or two, you know why. Let me recap a little bit. So when I came back from Northern Quebec, fall was starting here and right now, the colors are so beautiful, the trees are all these bright oranges and yellows and reds. It's like the best time to go on a hike, so that's what I did yesterday. And I took a bunch of pictures and I did a little painting quickly in a coffee shop afterwards. I'm going to show it to you. So I would like to paint one of these landscapes. I feel like it's a good reset for me. I'm getting back into art making after my trip. And like these colors, they were just the best. So I feel like I kind of have to do at least one big painting. I want to do more, but let's do one today. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is that I watched Sandy Hester's video recently about her sketchbook tour in which she was touring her huge Moleskine sketchbook, which I have. And it made me think that I hadn't used it in a long time. I started this sketchbook in August 2022. And it's more than a year later and I've done a few pages in it. It's almost brand new still. So I just took it out from my bookshelf and I placed it on my desk because I was thinking if I see it every day, then I'm going to want to paint in it because I'd like to paint in it more. My goal with this sketchbook was to use it as an exercise to become looser in my art, which I feel like I have achieved without using this. I'm a lot more loose than what I used to be. But, you know, having this big area really allows you to do these wide brush strokes and to be really expressive in how you paint. So I took it out in the hopes of using it again, using it more, because it's so fun. And the paper in this is so good. So that's what we're going to use today. Very excited about it. So first, let me show you what I did in the coffee shop yesterday. I love it so much. And we are either gonna redo the same picture or choose another one. I have a lot that I can choose from, so we're probably gonna choose another one, but I would like to redo this one maybe on paper eventually. So I'll show you that and then we're going to start painting. So I did my painting yesterday using my Royal Talents Art Creation Sketchbook which I've been loving so much. I never knew a sketchbook this small could be this useful, honestly. I love it because you can use it as a big spread like this or a smaller spread and it's way less pressure in a small sketchbook like this that you can just bring along with you in your bag, you know? So what I did yesterday was this one. And I love it so much. I love the movement of it, I love the colors, the light, and to be honest, this view was just amazing. This hike was quite easy, so it was like a nice afternoon stroll. There was a little bit of a climb at some point, but it wasn't too long at all. You sweat just a little bit, and then after that, it was so easy, but so fun, and with the autumn colors, it was just beautiful. So that was a view that we got near the end. So I kind of want to do something like this again, but in my big sketchbook. I would like to use my pan pastels, maybe to build up the background. And then I like to use my acrylic inks because it's been a while since I used them. So I put a few colors that I think would fit well with the drawing that I decided to use. So I put them to the side right here. But I think first I'm going to start with the fan pastels. And then we'll see, I have a big area, but my painting is pretty simple. 
So we'll see. And I think that once I'm done with the pan pastels and the acrylic inks, then I'm probably going to start breaking out some details. Maybe I'm going to add some watercolor pencils or some markers. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so now that everything is dried, I think I'm gonna take my Neo Color tool out and add a little bit of details and maybe some highlights here and there because I feel like we've lost a little bit of the highlights that I wanted to put in and just refine the shapes in general, but I still wanna keep it loose, so we'll see what we end up doing. Oh, and maybe I'd like to use my parchment. It's an acrylic color that I love so much by the brand Liquitex so I'll take it out because I think that it would be really good for the flowers that we see in the foreground. So I present to you a bonus painting that we're going to finish together. This is a painting that I started just with my leftovers from the other painting. So when I thought I had finished a section, I, I had finished using some of the colors I was using, but there was still some leftovers on my palette, then that's how I created this base layer. It's also based on a picture that I took during this little hike that I took yesterday. So we're just going to use some watercolors, I think, and maybe Maybe some mixed media, we'll see what we use just to finish this and uh, we'll see what we come up with. So I'm just having fun right now with using some colors that I haven't used in a long time. I thought my camera was filming but I guess you missed a little bit of <laughs> what I just did. So I had put aside a few watercolors that are not in my main palette so I feel like I don't use them a lot just because I forget I have them and they're not... I don't have them with me a lot of the time when I'm traveling so I feel like I I haven't been using them as much as I, as I would like to use them so this is why I, I put some aside in my little ceramic bowl that I, I made myself a few... well a few months ago so that they are in front of my face and it reminds me of using them. So that's what I'm doing right now, using Shire Blue right now from Schminke and uh, a couple of other colors. I used also Tundra Pink from the same brand. 
I'm trying to keep this painting loose though. Okay, I think that I'm done. I'm going to let this dry and just see what we get. So I think I'm finished with this. I want to remove the tape just so I have a better look at the finished result. I think I'm done with the big painting. Oh. I wanted to create something quick, something that had a lot of movement and I think I achieved that. So I'm very happy with it. I love doing these quick paintings. I feel like they're such a good way to warm up. And sometimes you don't have the time to spend hours and hours and hours to create something. You don't or you don't have the patience but you still want to create some art so I feel like this kind of painting is a good way to achieve that and to feel good about making art yeah I feel like it's a quick win you know I'm going to wait until the small painting that I did also is dry so I can remove the tape then I think that's gonna be it I think it's gonna be short and sweet today so I hope that you still enjoy these kind of shorter videos and that it inspired you to maybe paint a little bit today even if you don't have a lot of time and see how big movements can change your paintings maybe that could be a good exercise yeah so that's gonna be it for today we will end on some juicy tape removal footage and then that's gonna be it and hopefully i see you next week if not you know why it's because i, I ran out of time but we'll see. Okay. See you later. Bye. Okay, before I go, I just want to show you something. It was my first time using painter's tape in this sketchbook and it really wrecked my paper. Look at this. So I don't know if it's this paper that doesn't like painter's tape that much or if it's just this tape, which I kind of doubt because I think I've used it before. It was fine. I'm not sure. And also the paint went under the tape. So, oh my God, I'm gonna have to be really careful on this next page. Otherwise, I love this. I love how expressive it is. I love the vibe of it, but oh, this is just so sad. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you at that. I'm gonna show you some close-ups when this is fully dried, but then that's it. I'll see you next week.